Hey, what's up? Represent 717 here. And this is a really quick review of the Zvezda 1 in 100 scale Panzer 38T. Uh, it was a Czech tank that the Germans got when they occupied Czechoslovakia. Uh, it was better than their tanks at the time, so they had them produced and used them all the way up to Russia where they all got blown up because uh, they aren't very good tanks, actually. But uh, yeah, here's Zvezda stuff. If you want to see what's actually in the box, um, it's not much. Just these uh, six parts uh, on a sprue and some other stuff. If you want to see an unboxing, you can watch the Panzer II video because they have uh, the same basic inner workings. I mean, the cards are a little bit different, but not by much. The instructions are also different, but the same on the back. So here we have um, this little 38T. You see it's got four wheels. The track detail is superb. Uh, on this uh, little kit. It's much more than I expected. Uh, as you can see, I didn't do a very good job of um, cutting the sprue off. I don't really care too terribly much. I just wanted a little little tank. Uh, the turret does turn, obviously. Um, turns quite nicely. One of the best uh, turning Zvezda models I've, I've seen. Um, it's got a little bit of gun little detail. You can see the little line where these uh, three bits go together. These are the two, top two bits that went together. There's three bits that go together. Uh, it's got an exhaust pipe, if you can see that, which is really nice. Just a nice little little touch. It's got all the all the gubbins. Um, that little bit isn't supposed to be there, but it didn't come off. So I'm very bad at putting this together. Uh, as you can see, it's got a machine gun and a cannon. I forget what millimeter, how many millimeters the cannon is, but it's got two machine guns, which is it's got the front machine gun here. And if you can see that, you can see the line just beneath that machine gun, and it goes up and around it. Um, where these two bits go together, and that's the worst part of this kit is the, uh, the little that line there, because it's, it's horrible. It doesn't really doesn't look nice, but I mean it's totally survivable in this scale. So yeah, um, there's your little Panzer 38T, and it's a nice little tank. Um, here it is in size comparison with the little Panzer II. And taking away the pens or two, here is a one in one forty four scale T thirty four. Definitely not the uh, one in one hundred scale T thirty four. And finally, a little risk guy, which almost looks in scale, as I noted. So yeah, um, I like these guys. Uh, Panzer thirty eight T's. You don't really have much of a, uh, a choice aside from uh, I think they might be sold by Battlefront. Battlefront might sell them at this scale, but um, those are like twenty bucks. And there you get one tank. This is five dollars. You get one tank. The detail is a bit lacking, and it's not as heavy. It's not. It's a light little piece of plastic, but it's really nice. I like it. It's really easy to put together. It snaps fit. Snap fit together. You can glue it together, but you know there's no need to. Um, especially like the treads aren't, don't look. They're coming off the turret. It's not coming off. It's not coming apart. This one isn't. So yeah, it's a nice little tank. I would. Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Um, so yeah, especially since it's so cheap, bye.